Hi guys, my name is Emily Pedroza. I'm a certified health coach and I'm here to talk to you about living above the line. So what this is essentially is us choosing to take ownership and responsibility for our journey, for the choices we're making in our lives and the consequences that are coming from these choices. When we take ownership of our choices in this way and are responsible for ourselves and the thoughts that we're having and the action we put in and the effort we're making and the responses we're having to the things that are happening in our lives, we are giving ourselves the power to create the life that we really need. When we accept responsibility, we're empowering ourselves. We're telling ourselves that we can do something about it. So if we are not where we want to be, we can change it. Now, living below the line is kind of the opposite of all that, okay? It's a step down here. And the step down here is stuff like placing blame, where maybe we are blaming other people or circumstances or the events that are happening in our life for the reason why we aren't succeeding. Down below the line, we also make excuses and we give ourselves an out and a reason why we're not doing it. We tell ourselves things like, it's too hard or I don't have the time or the energy or the money or maybe I'm not even capable of doing it. Sometimes below the line, we even just quit altogether and we just stop going after the things that are important to us. When we choose to live below the line, we give our power away. We become victims to the people, the circumstances, the events that are happening in our lives that we are blaming for us not getting where we want to be. We're voluntarily giving up the control of our life and the direction that we're going. People that reach their goals aren't better and they do not have it easier. They just tend to live above the line. So let's think about it. Where do we want to live? Do we want to be above the liners or are we cool with living down here? Do we want to be people that take responsibility over their journey and the direction our life is going? I want to challenge you to just think about some things, question some things, some of the thoughts that we've been having, some of the actions we've been taking, the effort we've put in, and just check in and see where they fall. Are they above the line or are they falling below? These are the things that are going to help us get to our goal or are going to get in the way of us achieving. My hope is that we're all going to choose to live above the line.